Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the final Curtain Cabaret where we celebrate the beginning of the end. Enjoy it while it lasts. stolen base. Back to Folk. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. So my intuition told me uh, it was time for me to close the curtain of this of this very intimate performance. It was it was a, a walk between me and the towers, and I I landed on the same tower from which I started the South Tower, and then I had the uh, the octopus of the authority, you know, grab me by their hundreds of arms. When he came in off the wire, Petit was immediately taken into custody and rudely manhandled down into an underground police station deep beneath the South Tower, where he was formally charged with no fewer than 14 misdemeanors, including criminal trespass, disregarding police orders, reckless endangerment, and performing without a permit. Then he was besieged by an army of admiring reporters. Why did you do this? Oh, that's the thousand uh, why in this morning. There is no why. It's just uh, because... Uh, um, when, when I see a beautiful place to put my wire, I cannot resist. Game 21 reached move 40, the move at which the game was adjourned for the two players to go and study it. This is NBC Nightly News, Friday, September 1st. Good evening. We'll have more on the developments in the Watergate bugging case. We'll hear George McGovern talking about tightening up his campaign organization, and we'll have a look at the new unemployment figures. And first, Bobby Fischer. Today was the day when Fischer and the Russian champion, Boris Spassky, were to have finished the 21st game of the World Championship, a game they started yesterday. But Spassky, after what must have been an agonizing night spent analyzing his position, didn't even show up to play. I was going to photograph Spassky in the morning. He came straight over to me, shook my hand, and said, there is another world champion. His name is Robert James Fisher. I went back to the loft leader, to Bobby's room, and I told him, 
Spassky just retired. And I want to be the first to congratulate you. American base Camp Justice, Saddam was to be hanged. On the 30th of December 2006, balaclava-clad executioners led Saddam to the noose and placed it over his head. Amid the chanting of slogans, insults and prayers read from the Quran, the former dictator dropped to his death. His final moments were captured on mobile phone, the opening of the trap door, his body swinging and neck twisted. Saddam's body was then flown to his birthplace and buried in the dead of night. demands were simple. To have the garrison of soldiers gather below and to have Mishima say his part. He wanted to be heard and he wanted to inspire a coup d'etat to restore the power of the emperor. If the soldiers were to be non-responsive, he would commit seppeku, a ritual Japanese suicide. If they were not to gather the garrison, the commandant would die. His wishes were fulfilled and the soldiers were gathered below. Mishima stepped onto the balcony and spoke to the soldiers. He voiced disappointment in the current state of the military. He believed the current constitution was unfair, making the soldiers a mere subsection of the American military. It was of no use. Instead of inspiring the soldiers, they jeered him away, calling him a fool. He once again asked, Is there no one amongst you who will rise up with me? Now almost desperate. Most soldiers likely never even heard the speech. His words drowned out by the unrest of the other soldiers, police sirens and the press helicopters above. He was once again jeered away. Mishima had no knowledge of this, but the soldiers below were not the warriors he had hoped them to be. Earlier that day, 900 of the elite soldiers had just left the base for training, leaving only those in charge of media, supplies and materials to hear his pleas. Mishima finished his speech, spoke glory to the emperor, went back inside and delivered on his promise. He performed seppeku, stabbing oneself into the belly and disemboweling himself. Morita was supposed to finish the ritual by beheading him. Instead, he failed multiple times, not being able to cut through his neck. Kogai Hiroyasu then took over, beheading Mishima. Morita then performed the same act, and he too committed suicide. The day before Mishima's death, he had officially finished his last novel, The Decay of the Angel. In its pages, art prophesied life. Just before the pinnacle, when time must be cut short, is a pinnacle of physical beauty. Clear, bright beauty. In that moment, the beauty of a man and the beauty of a gazelle are in a wonderful correspondence. Raising its horns proudly, raising the hoofs of the white spotted leg ever so slightly in the face of the Nile. Es ist einmalig. Kein Stempel. Nicht. Gar nichts. Nichts. Lang. 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 Alles lang. 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 Großzügig. Erst kleine Tor und dann die große Tor. Ja, mehr wollte man nicht. Den habe ich mir aber erkämpft hier. <lacht> Den hebe ich mir auf. Den hebe ich mir auf. Den zeig mein Enkel. Ma vie. 